Jones wills a pass in the lane, and the layup is good from Phillips in the high post. Sets it right side to Hicks. Nice feed right side to Ed Polite Jr. for the dunk. It's around the double team, goes baseline. Scoop shot is in, and the foul. They also lost their two neutral side games. Here's Butts turning around. Uh, we knew what we was doing and lacking. It was effort, and we just, we just. I knew I had to pick it up on the defensive end, and I know when I pick it up, everybody else follows along. So once I got that steal, everything started, started flowing with us. Uh, I, I realized once I seen my uh, teammates jump up on the bench, I knew they was gonna come with me. Backfire three and nine, he rings it up, and that's when you know it's going well when Ed can step back and hit that three like that. Yeah, there was a couple times in, the, in our timeouts where. Uh, you know, I had to have the guys come a little closer. I had to scream a little louder. And having them here is, is huge for our guys. They they love the, uh, you can tell in warm-ups that they're fired up about the energy. The crowd just brings a little energy. The students, uh, you know, they're, they're loud and boisterous. And uh, that just helps those guys just have a little more juice. And juice is what we're looking for. You know, whether it comes from our bench uh, or it comes from the guys on the floor making plays or it comes from the crowd. Uh, juice is always a good thing, and um, you know the crowd gave us a lot of juice tonight. And Radford survives here at home and gets a huge win. And now the Highlanders and the UNC Asheville Bulldogs will reside atop of the Big South standings headed into Saturday's huge matchup with Winthrop. Radford wins at 70 to 66.